You add it all together. Quinn Hughes likely going to win the Norris Trophy. Pedersen Miller in the top 12, top 10 in scoring. Brock Besser in the top, whatever, six or eight in goal scoring. Demko, arguably the second best goaltender in the league right now. I think Connor Hallebach is, is a tiny bit ahead of him. And then you have Rick Tockett going to the all-star game as the points percentage leading coach in the Pacific division. So we have five players and one coach going to the all-star weekend next weekend, five players and one coach yet you guys know, and I'll get to you guys in, in a couple minutes. You guys know how one thing that I've really noticed in the past. And one thing I've tracked over the past 15 years is what is the media's perception of the Vancouver Canucks? What is the fan perception of the Vancouver Canucks outside of Vancouver? And longtime followers of me know how much I desire that this team is well respected by media, by fans, by other organizations, other players, coaches, management teams across the entire NHL. And I get that the last 10 years, aside from that bubble year, the last eight or nine years, it's been some really, really lean times. You take out the bubble year, we haven't made the playoffs since 2014 15 that season. That's not good. That's nine years ago. We've seen uh, coaches run out of town. We've seen players underperform when they get here. We've, we've heard of, uh, you know, um, of, of disharmony throughout the organization. So I can see where um, I wouldn't say laughing stock, but we certainly haven't been a model franchise over the past decade or so. But this year, I think it is the uh, last two years, Jim Rutherford and Patrick Alvin have been working on turning it all around. That it, Rick Tockett is a huge part of that. So now there's alignment throughout the entire organization, all the way from the owner, the GM, the president, the GM, the coaching staff, to the players down through Abbotsford. So there's a, I believe there's organizational alignment. And I think we are seeing everything from culture to systems to staples. We're seeing all that mostly because of Rick Tockett and the all-star players playing well. Depth at all three positions. I've talked about that many before. We have a better bottom six. We have a better D core and we have an awesome backup goalie. So we are deeper all around so we can withstand injuries to Carson Soucy or whatever it may be once in a while. Hopefully not more injuries. So for all those reasons, and of course the play on the ice, everything's so much better. Um, I think the Canucks, I hope the Canucks are getting more respect around the league. And I always looking at power rankings. I'm always looking at award uh, award watches and stuff like that. And like I said, I think Quinn Hughes is the favorite right now to win the Norris. I think Jack uh, Rick Tockett is the favorite to win the Jack Adams. I think that uh, Demko is probably a solid second place behind Connor Hollebuck in the in the Vesna voting, but not if the uh, Winnipeg has kind of dropped off a little bit in the past two weeks. So for all these reasons and for the, all the media attention that they are going to get in Toronto next weekend, it's what our All Star Weekend. And the fact that they are number one in the league for all these reasons, I think that they should garner more respect throughout the league. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in about two or three minutes. I answered the poll question or you guys answered the poll question. And you said that 53% of you are saying it's getting there in terms of respect. 17% are you saying no way. 15% are saying could get more and 13% are you saying absolutely. So 68% of you are saying, yes, they do get respect. And then 32 of you, 32% of you, are saying that they don't get enough respect. Clay, why do you think the Canucks fans are so insistent on garnering respect? Wouldn't winning a cup one year with people doubting us make the win sweeter than being the fans in Darlings League wide? Uh, that's a good question, Justin. I, I can't speak for all the fans. I treat I treat the Canucks as my kids. Maybe because I'm old enough to be most of their players' fathers. And it's hard to explain, but the parents in here will know if you have kids, you want everything for them and you and you want them to more than being liked or admired uh, you want them to be respected for for being good people for being people of integrity for being loving caring generous all those genuine all those things that i desire for my my family so uh, for me it's kind of weird but I, I treat the canucks as my kids my family and like any family, there's ups and downs, there's fighting, there's whatever. But for that, it's kind of a weird perspective, but that's my perspective. And I, I don't, I think other fans of the team, they might not treat them as family or as their kids, but I, I do think there, there's an innate desire for, um, yeah, for, 
for other people to like the team. I, I think some people are fine with us being disrespected or using that as fuel or or being the most hated team in the, in the league and all those things. I think a lot of people, uh, some people would relish in that, but I do think the majority of people um, would, if you had to choose one, would rather be respected throughout um, throughout the league. That's just that's just a thought. That's a um, yeah. I would love people, other people's thoughts in that as well. But um, just a thought I had for sure. Great question though. But yeah, I think both can be true. I think you can win a cup, rub it in people's faces, and still want to be liked. Uh, I, but if I had to pick one, I'd take winning a cup over being liked for sure. For sure. 